Suppose that the number of inhabitants of country A is given by, I'm gonna go to bright green this time. Okay, country A, the number of inhabitants is that, and then the number of inhabitants of country B is that, where, oh, this is important, X is the number of years since 2010. Okay, so we have to remember that 2010 is X is equal to zero. That's important. So I'll make a little note of it right there. Okay, and then it says, here's what we're looking for. Find the year in which the number of inhabitants of country A equals the number of inhabitants of country B. Okay, so we're looking for where the number of inhabitants of country A equals the number of inhabitants of country B. That's what that last thing says. Find the year in which the number of inhabitants of country A, which I highlighted in green, equals the number of inhabitants of country B, which I highlighted in pink. And the green equation says Y equals blah, blah, blah. So just put in the blah, blah, blah part right here. Don't worry about the word million, it'll work itself out. And then the pink one, which is country B, that is also given by Y equals, but yada, yada, yada. So just put the yada, yada, yada right here. Now, I have an equation with nothing but X's in it. So I can solve this for X, and then I would have to add it to 210, or 2010 to figure out what the correct year is because 2010 is at zero. So uh, again, you can graph it if you want and find that intersection point. You let the green one be y sub one and the pink one be y sub two and go through all that. Or you can just solve it algebraically, which is the way I'm gonna go on this. So um, I'm going to go with orange this time. Let's see, I like my X's to be positive, so I'm gonna add 7.33X to cancel down the left, but that means the right side will also add that and it's gonna get bigger. But since my X is now on the right, I do not watch this 815.51. So I'm gonna subtract his ass off, cancel him out. But what you do one side, you gotta do the other. So the other side's going to get that much smaller. And so now I'm gonna take my 909.51 and subtract the 815.51. Wasn't that nice, the 0.51's cancel out. So I'm left with 94 and then 2.07 on the right side you're going to add that to the 7.33 and we're looking at 9.4 x and then all i have to do to solve for x is divide by the 9.4 and when i do that um Remember, this is uh, X, which is the number of years after 2010. So when I get an answer of X is equal to 10, I have to go back to <clears throat> the fact that it is after 2010. So I'm gonna have to add 2010 to this so that my answer is the year 2020. Find the year in which the number of inhabitants, yep. The year is 
2020. And what a great year that was. Ugh. Anyway, that's number 20. Yeah, that's my cat. She doesn't like math either. I don't know if you can hear her or not. <laughs> Meow.